Um, somebody's asking how you would compare the coronavirus to the 68 Hong Kong flu. So the, the 68 Hong Kong flu was one that, that killed a, a lot of people. But I, if you look at the, the U.S. toll of how, how many it killed, I do think that this is going to be higher than, than the 1968 68 flu. That was a, a cumbersome flu um, that, that, that did kill uh, you know, tens of thousands of, of Americans. I do think that this is probably going to be worse than the 1968 flu. This is not going to be 1918, but it's going to be worse than 1968, 1957, and 2009, which were our other flu pandemics. Good. So um, anything, anything you'd like to say that I haven't asked about? No, I think, I mean, I think we covered a lot of it. I mean, I think this is going to be something that we're going to be watching for a while. And it's important to remember that there's not black or white answers to a lot of this stuff. It's a lot of gray and people trying to interpret things. And there is a lot of controversy in the field about very simple things that, that we still don't know the answers to. This, we're learning this on the fly and we've, we've not, you know, dealt with a pandemic for, of this scale since 1918. And I think that this, there's a lot of, a lot of differing voices within the field. So I think that it's important to remember that not every person in my field that has a position has a political agenda. They're basically, everybody's trying to do their best to try and tell people what to do and, and try to prevent the, 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 the catastrophe this is. And there is a balance and, and people have a different, different uh, threshold for, for what, kind of, what kind of balance to strike between the economic shutdowns on the one hand and letting this virus go. And, and there's a lots of false alternatives being created. So I think that that's an important thing is that everybody's you know, I, I think that there's just a lot of differing voices here and, and, and a lot of controversies that haven't been quite settled uh, yet. And it's hard, it's hard for people to maintain, somehow to maintain their rationality in this environment. What, what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the Super Chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to youronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...